Tina was determined to screw her way to the top. You're my everything! When she found out her boyfriend's record deal fell through, she threw him and his stuff out the door. You don't even know how to make any good music! Her hot body was for playtime, but only for dudes who got airtime. Her latest ex left in such a hurry, he forgot his pet boa constrictor. That's right, good riddance, loser! Which decided to put the squeeze on the opportunistic groupie. Boa constrictor constricted around her neck because it was afraid of falling. That's what boas do. They hang onto trees. The 12 pounds per square inch pressure that a boa can put around your neck is very much like the police throat choke. You're going to be a dead monkey in about 10 minutes. The snake was no match for this Medusa. But this was the only home he knew. So he found a way back in. That night, Tina, who seemed to live in her underwear, cranked up the heat and hit the bottle. Meanwhile, the boa had snaked his way into a warm exhaust vent on its way back into the house. As time passed, Tina began to feel dizzy and nauseous. She thought she was just getting a good buzz on, but not this time. This time, the low-rent skank staggered around her ghetto pad toppled over and died. Gas furnaces produce deadly carbon monoxide that is usually carried out of the house through a ventilation duct. Little did she know, her boyfriend's snake had parked itself in the duct, trapping the lethal gas inside. As it filled the house, Tina was exposed to a CO concentration of as much as 1,600 parts per million. Someone who's drinking alcohol and also in the presence of carbon monoxide could easily confuse the two symptoms because they both can cause headache, drowsiness, nausea. As you breathe in carbon monoxide, it binds to the hemoglobin in your blood very strongly, which will not allow that hemoglobin to bind oxygen. And you will basically suffocate your body and that will lead to death. Get out! Tina was a hard-bodied rock hoe with a nasty mean streak. If she hadn't been so mean, she wouldn't be so dead. Rock on, bitch.